you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm doing the best top 10 budget players in Madden Ultimate Team right now. And obviously, since it is a budget video, I will be keeping it probably below 86 overalls because typically a budget player is that cheap. Now, the only way it will exceed an 86 overall or an 85 overall for that matter will be if it is a power up card because there are some power up cards that I think are the best budget cards in the game that you kind of need. Now, these cards as a whole are very useful. I have used almost, if not every single card on this list before, and some actually still are on my team, uh, whether or not they're backups or I'm just holding them because they will get future cards. Now, these budget cards also coincide with future longe longevity, which is why some of these cards, although they might not seem like the best right now, I would definitely hold them because they will get new cards and they'll be good to keep on a budget team because having cards that are gonna be long-term investments that you don't have to keep losing training on is technically budget in my eyes because you know, like Lawrence Taylor, he's budget in my eyes in terms of the fact for my team for my team he's budget not for anyone's team but for my team he's budget because i have to power him one time and i don't have him all year a budget card for me that wouldn't be one would be like if i powered up steve young right now let's say but i wouldn't keep him because he's, there's gonna be a vic and then i'm gonna have to get rid of him so for that for me it'll cost multiple upgrades and changing down the powering down so for me that's like more of a high roller kind of thing so these cards are either insanely good right now really good abilities right now or they have longevity and they're good right now so that kind of comes down to how I'm going to run this. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, go down below, smack the sub button. We're so close to 7K subs, boys. I don't think we're going to hit 10K by the end of September because things did slow down a little bit. So I'll still be dropping that 10K subscriber special, although it won't be a 10K subscriber special, which will be a really cool video that you guys will greatly enjoy. And if it does really well, maybe it pushes me over 10K. And I'll be coming to you around September 6th. Stay tuned with another YouTuber. Also... If you guys haven't already, turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. And let's get this video to 200 likes. You guys don't understand how much likes helps my channel. So if you guys, if you guys are loyal and you watch all the time, if you're watching this video, if you did watch, just drop a like, help a lot. Comment down below if I missed anyone because I can greatly appreciate the feedback and I can improve my next video and even revise it. Now, guys, these are going to be in ranked in 10, but they're not really going to be ranked by skill. Be, I just kind of rank them by 10. But like, obviously, there's like not much of an order here. Although there's some that I think are better than others. So at number 10. This guy is a lineman. Now, I know on a budget video, you guys probably want some like stud, stud offensive player, stud defensive player, but trust me, this guy is a beast, and you guys need this in your on your team because without it, you're going to have trouble in a game that pass rushes a lot. So, Anthony Munoz, his power up 76 card. You can power this guy up considering his full legend, I believe, is a 90 overall. So you could probably power him up to an 88 overall. So that's an 88 overall off tackle for the price of training. And I actually just dropped the cheapest, fastest training video. So go check that out. Get a good training value. You can probably buy like 235, uh, 85 cards, 284 cards, and get enough to power him up close to all the way. I think that's budget in my eyes. And top, a top left tackle in the game, probably the second best left tackle in the game at an 88 for a very, very discounted price. You guys need left tackles. This is a very pass heavy year. So you guys definitely want to take advantage of that. Now coming over to the 84, 85, because obviously... A lot of the budget players will be in this range. Now, I love Mutt Superstars for budget videos because Mutt Superstars come in with built-in abilities. And if you guys don't already know, abilities are really expensive. So having a guy that you can legitimately have on your team with built-in abilities for a price of around 30K is budget in my eyes. Because the abilities alone, if you have to power up a card and buy abilities on them, that'll cost you like 70, 80K alone, if not more to 100K. So having built-in abilities for the price of 30K with good stats. So coming at number nine is Brandon Williams. Brandon Williams has... 83 tackle, 89 strength, 89 play rec, and 89 block shedding. He is a budget beast. This card comes built stock with really good stats. He's going to be a run stuffing beast, good at play rec, really strong, good tackle, decently tall, and he'll be a decent pass rusher considering the block shed. Not to mention he comes in with built in run stuffer, which is using X factor, which is really good because if you don't have X factors on your team, you can minus switch that. Make sure to activate them, by the way. Don't forget. Secure tackler, which is huge because if he gets onto the running back, he'll stop him and reach elite. That's a good combo right there. Reach Elite means he can grab his hand out of players that are running near him. So that's pretty huge. Now, next on the list is another guy that's really, really awesome. A lot of people have recommended him to me. I don't know if he's, out, yeah, he's left outside. Anthony Barr. He's got 81 speed, 82 tackle, 83 play rec, and a 76 block shedding. So he's a decent pass rushing outside linebacker for budget teams. He's fast. He's six foot five, 82 tackle, and a good play rec. So he's kind of like a prototype coverage slash rushing outside linebacker which is pretty good because he's so tall so at six foot five on a budget team he'll get the he'll get the glitchy pick animations 
He's fast enough to keep up with players, tight end specifically, and he typically plays around the box, so you don't really need him to be like overly fast, but he has enough speed for the box. And he comes built in with shutdown, which is huge, because shutdown is like a massive coverage ability. So if he has shutdown activated, he'll probably get a ton of picks and good coverage in the box. Secure tackle and reach elite. I love reach elite and I love secure tackle, so that's huge too. Next on the list is a strong safety that I still have on my team as a backup. He comes in for me here and there. Jamal Adams. Jamal Adams here is six foot one. 82 speed, 85 play rec, 81 excel, 83 pursuit, 80 zone coverage, 86 of power. Do I need to speak much more on him? Although he does not come with abilities, he can hit like a truck. Of course that one sells out. He can hit like a truck. He's fast. He's decently tall. He can play zone. He can almost play man. He can play rec. And he has good pursuit and good excel. This card's a beast overall. And I think you will get more upgrades. So I wouldn't keep him long term only because there is a Pat Tillman you can get for free. But he's definitely up there. Now the next guy on this list is a cornerback. Actually, scratch that. I'm taking him off the list. I have a better idea. I'm going to be putting this guy there instead. I was going to put Marshall Lattimore there, but he's also honorable mention, the free Lattimore, but Lawrence Taylor power up. Now, obviously, this Lawrence Taylor right here is not the budget version. It is the power up card 76. You can get it for like 6K. You power it up all the way for like 60, 70K, and you can legitimately get an 88 overall best outside linebacker in the game minus his full card. Like, before his full card came out, let's say like that card ever came out, that 88 would be the best outside linebacker in the game. He has above 80 speed, above 80 block shit, above 80 play rec, above 80 agility, above 80 everything. This card's a beast and he could decently play in the zone. So he is the best outside linebacker minus the full Lawrence Taylor. So I highly recommend you guys go pick up him. Next on the list, well, now I'll make it Lattimore. So Marshall Lattimore is going to be one of the fastest corners in the game for the small price of free you can get out of solo challenges right here he has an 87 speed 85 jumping 85 agility 88 excel he doesn't have the best coverage stats he can decently play man but right now we're in a man meta meta the meta right now is blitzing playing man so if you blitz and you have a lot of more in two other corners he's fast enough to stand them for long enough he won't be able to make some crazy long play coverage things but if you're blitzing you only need a few seconds and typically people like to slant so with that speed the excel the jumping and the agility and man coverage you should be able to stay there just long enough to help your team and he's for free all you gotta just play the I think the welcome to ultimate team challenges so he's and the assemble your team so that's really not bad at all now next on this list is a tight end this tight end i actually use on my team you'll see right here it is george kittle 87 theme diamond now to get this card i literally got it for damn near free because you can use the power you get his power up card you use the power past the 80 to 82 on his basically so right there that's pretty much free and you gotta just power him up to his 86 you can keep him at 85 or you can get a steam diamond which you could power past the steam diamond for 700 training so for like a grand total i'd say about a thousand training and a power pass you can have this george kid right here and right now a thousand training is like 45 to 50k so for like 50k and a power pass you have the i think the best tight end in the game besides kellen winslow but kellen winslow obviously is a lot more pricey because he's a limited time so george kittle's fast as hell for a tight end trust me when he's on linebackers he takes advantage of that i always do out routes with him and seam routes and he's perfect for that and he makes some pretty crazy catches despite his lack of excessive good catching stats so i highly recommend george kittle next on this list the guy that i didn't have the first time but people made sure i didn't make that mistake again tyler lockett 86 speed 83 catching 80 deep route running he's a burner and to be honest in the slot you don't really need too much crazy route running sometimes because typically they'll be open because they are coming out of the slot they'll be on linebackers so he will be a huge mismatch on four verts down the seam on linebackers um over the middle in routes like a lot of things and he doesn't really need much good catching stats because you're going to get him open out of the slot so all you got to do is worry about his acceleration and his speed now he does have rack him up which is really good for rack catching he has streak specialist and in specialist so this card's pretty much a beast and he comes with built-in abilities like i said the abilities are huge. Those abilities alone will probably cost him like 1,500 worth of abilities, maybe 1,300. That will come out to about 60, 70 K in abilities on top of the card being 30 K. It will cost you hundred K, but, and his power up, but he does come built in with them. So it's going to be the small price of 30 K. Now, next in this list is two halfbacks for one and two. Of course, I click left tackle because I always do dumb things like that. So for halfbacks, these guys are going to rank probably tied. Although I give one a slight advantage for the time being, although the other one I think will be better long term. So 82 to 83, my favorite player in the league, Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley, let's see where he's going. 25K. He has 83 speed, 84 carrying, 87 agility, 84 acceleration, 86 break tackle, 78 elusiveness, and decent catching, and decent trucking. This card is a beast stock. Now, remember, he will get a card soon. Come on, we're going to think that Saquon Barkley, the best running back in the league, isn't going to get an upgrade like real soon, considering most base leagues already have. He's going to get an upgrade pretty soon, so if you power him up to his 83... You can just hold on to him until he gets his next card. You're going to have a budget beast 
and he won't be a budget beast once his new car comes out but for now he is and if you power him up you can probably for you can probably keep him most of the year so i love the saquon barkley and i'm excited to probably get, i have him on my team still just waiting until he gets a better card now first on this list is another running back that i have swore by this entire year philip Lindsay. philip Lindsay is probably in my opinion the best below marcus allen and bo jackson running back in the game obviously there's like Corey dillon and theme diamonds i don't really count those guys because i don't think they're long-term options I have this Philip Lindsay on my team, as you guys see. He's my backup running back. I actually use him a lot. He comes in a ton for me. If you compare him to Saquon Barkley, he did not better in other things, but he is fast. So his 86 speed is what matters here. 86 speed, 83 excel, 83 agility, 84 carrying, and his elusiveness. That's all that matters. Because typically right now, with low enough trucks, it doesn't really matter. Right now, unless you're like a beast with 85, 90 trucking, and you have like Bruiser and Punisher and Wrecking Ball and stuff. But for him, he's a speed back. And he comes built in. With first one free, homer, and backfield mismatch. Backfield mismatch is a ability that I love because I throw a lot of angle routes and a lot of um, like flat routes to running backs. So it makes sure that he's better at catching those. He gets better routes on those. So he's pretty much a pass catching back too. Excuse me. And he's got first one free. So when that's activated, his first juke's pretty much going to hit every time. And he's just he's a fast back. He's, 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 he's kind of glitchy in my opinion. I think of that if you want to keep a team... With under 30k players right now, Philip Lindsay is probably the move as far as the running back you want on your team. And maybe even backed up by Saquon. But guys, that is it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope this helps you guys a lot in building your no money spent and budget teams. Guys, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a sub. We're so close to 7k. Turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. And comment down below if I missed anyone on this list. So next time I do it, I could revise it and make it better for you guys. And let's get 200 likes in this video. If it helped you guys out, make sure to drop a like. And don't forget to comment so I can revise this in the future if I didn't do everything properly the way you guys like it. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.